first time I visited Iwaki City, Fukushima Prefecture, which is in the northern part of Japan. Hi, I'm Michelle. Looking around us, there are many products made out of resin. For example, this plastic bottle is made out of resin. Resin is a material that is indispensable to our daily lives. But there's a Takumi or innovator who has come up with a whole new material that's even better than resin. Let's go and meet him. The Takumi who developed the new material works at this company. Hello. Hello. I'm Michelle. I'm Kubota. This is today's Takumi, Munehiro Kubota. And this is the new material that Kubota and his team developed. At first glance, it looks like a regular plastic sheet. What sort of qualities does it have? I'm told that the fire will reveal the difference. We started with the sheet of resin. It instantly caught on fire and melted away. Now, let's put a sheet of the newly developed material near the fire. It doesn't catch on fire, it just turns white. Yes, the new material that Kubota developed is fire resistant. Here is another way to use the new material. The material is converted into liquid form, applied to the surface of a resin and dried. When it is put close to the fire, it doesn't burn. And the flip side remains unchanged. This is a light cover that is being developed for train interiors. The surface is coated with the new material. It may soon be used in bullet trains. It turns out that this new material has another exceptional characteristic. Kubota agreed to show us a demonstration. This is liquid ammonia. In another petri dish is a reagent that reacts to ammonia. When one petri dish is placed over the other, the reagent reacts to the vaporized ammonia and turns purple. A resin sheet and a sheet of the newly developed material are each placed between petri dishes. And after 20 minutes, the one on the left has turned purple. This shows that the ammonia gas had passed through the resin sheet. Meanwhile, the one on the right remains unchanged. It shows that the sheet made with the new material did not allow the ammonia gas to pass through. It is very airtight. Because of this quality, the material is being used as a packaging material for food and medicine. Why is it able to do all that? Well, that's because it's made out of this. Is this a stone? No, it's a type of clay called bentonite. Clay? The sheet was made out of clay. No wonder it didn't burn when placed close to the fire. A cross-section of the clay-based sheet reveals multiple layers of small tabular crystals that are just one nanometer thick. This is what makes it airtight. Kubota began developing this new material in 2009. But development wasn't easy. Because clay is generally weak to water, when made into a sheet and placed in water, it quickly dissolves or falls apart. This is caused by the sodium ion between the tabular crystals. Kubota knew that if the sodium ion could be changed into lithium ion, then it would not dissolve easily in water. However, the time and cost required for the process would not make it profitable. Then Kubota thought up a whole new method. He decided to temporarily replace the sodium ion with a different ion. First, the clay is mixed into a certain liquid. This replaces the sodium ion with a different kind of ion.
Then it is mixed with another liquid. This replaces the substitute ion with lithium ion. This method reduced the required work time to just 1 50th and made it possible for them to commercialize the material. The new material is currently being used in hydrogen tanks and electronic substrates. It is said that there are a thousand ways to use bentonite and Kubota has its eyes on the possibilities. Clay has many different functions and it's a very versatile material. I want to pursue its possibilities and develop new products that meet people's needs. I brought the new material to the studio. Please feel it. It feels like a normal sheet of plastic. I'm surprised to hear that it doesn't burn. Because it's also available in powder and liquid form. It can be processed in many different ways. Yes, and its air tightness makes it perfect for even hydrogen tanks. Hydrogen molecules are the smallest gas molecules, so they're able to get through very slight cracks. Because hydrogen is highly flammable, this could lead to an explosion. The new material is airtight and fire resistant, so it stands to reason that it is used to make hydrogen tanks. I look forward to seeing how the new material's properties will be used in different fields. Yes, thank you very much, Michelle. So, Dr. Tashiro, today we covered substances that inhibit freezing. How would you wrap up this subject? Thanks to freezing technologies that prevent food degradation and decomposition, we are able to import and enjoy meat, fish, and a variety of frozen foods from other countries. If this new technology becomes widely used, then we'll be able to enjoy even tastier food. I hope it will be developed further to advance Japan's food culture and, at the same time, improve the world's food situation. Thank you, Dr. Tashiro. And thank you for watching Science View. See you next time.